Wiggle, 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 do, 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 do. The nether, the nether one bites the dust. Hey, it's the cherry cup. Another cup bites the dust. My name is Brian Saviano, Bobby O'Bricks O'Brien. It's a Friday night, and instead of being out partying and schmoozing with multi-billionaires, I'm here playing Mario Kart, which I'd rather be here anyways, so it works out. Los Angeles, I've been here. Guess what Los Angeles is? Very overrated. Lots of sunshine. Lots of interesting characters. And I don't just mean me. I mean like legitimately interesting characters. Weirdos. Not, I want to say, like there, it's a, it's a, it's a nice mix of people. And if you want to people watch, you will find plenty of people to watch, which you may think is a weird thing to do, but it is not a weird thing to do. It is a common thing people do. So, uh, parts of this I haven't actually been to in terms of Los Angeles. Like, obviously, been on the streets near a Santa Monica Pier. This is, I believe, downtown LA. Uh, Beverly Hills makes an appearance. All sorts of stuff as part of the most recent wave of the Mario Kart downloadable content that you can get for yourself by just manifesting it into existence. Because that's how that sort of stuff goes, man. Uh, Mario Sluggers, when? Hey, yo. Hey, yo. You can clearly see on those stands there the uh, JPEG toads that are hanging out in the background. It's pretty snazzy. This is from Mario Kart Tour, obviously, if you haven't been able to assume that already. But that this is definitely from uh, Mario Kart Tour. I had a nice booger in my nose that I have just fixed the problem for. I am a content creator for all ages, and guess what? Boogers, not funny. So, my Saturday night, I should not have wasted that. Whoops. My bad. Obviously, by the way, playing 150cc in case you couldn't figure that out before. But, you know, I'm just hanging out. I was tempted, half tempted. Hey, nice. I was half tempted to go. Okay. I was half tempted to go and get Domino's. And get some pizza. Was not uh, wanting to do that. Not what's on the docket tonight. So I am just going to wait until tomorrow, which by the time you're watching this might be today or three years ago. I don't know when you're watching this. Maybe you're like, this is the greatest video I've ever seen in my life. I'm going to watch it every single day until the day that I go to the ethereal plane along with every, every other toad that's ever manifested itself into existence. I don't know. Oh, it's a very, um, very interesting horn there. Anyways, playing through the entirety of the whatever cup this is, cherry cup? I don't know. Listen, it's like 10 o'clock at night, all right? It's already been a day. This one, everybody doesn't like. The reason everybody doesn't like it is because it's not authentic to what it was on the GBA. I don't really care because I haven't seen that version I haven't played any of the or rather I haven't really enjoyed any of the, the super low plane uh, 2D Mario Karts so Mario Kart Super Circuit on the Game Boy Advance not a fan of that not a fan of that at all um, Super Nintendo version is even worse I you can't even register what's happening on screen at any given point but this one I don't like because you know you, you can't drive normally so when you're on here I, you can't really notice it maybe you can based on how i'm skidding but you are constantly on dirt or mud in which you skid in a really weird way so like calamari desert obviously takes place on sand and everything too right but this one for whatever reason they decided hey it's going to be a very skid centric course so you skid unlike on any of the other courses i think in this entire cup and it, it might be close, actually. I needed to use that there. Um, it might be close to Wario Stadium. Actually, ooh, that worked out for me. Stealthily avoid that. Yes, that's how it's done. Yes, indeed. The other thing people complain about, not to just focus on what people complain about, because people complain about everything. People complain about literally every single thing. I can't think of a thing that nobody complains. Nobody complains about air? But, you know, everybody's complaining about the sunset. 
on this one because apparently the sun was supposed to set in the original and now it doesn't in this version. And oh, well, the sunset doesn't last, you know, four laps here. It doesn't make any sense. One of those sort of things. The sunset lasts more than four minutes, okay? It kind of makes sense. I also didn't realize you can see clearly behind you. If you if you put the camera back there, that's kind of sweet. I didn't realize that, huh? Okay. So that actually is more convenient for all of you. I actually disable all of those when I do my tournaments online, because now you can obviously turn off specific items. So Koopa Cape, man, I missed this one. This is a good one. A great soundtrack to this one, too. But I actually turn off the blooper because it's it doesn't really stop me all too much when I'm racing. It more so is just uh, more annoying for the people that are watching. So I just turn it off for that reason. This one, I think, is substantially better. Especially this this um, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe version here, you know? It is all good. Sunshine parts, look at that. The grass looks a little bit too green, but it's fine. It's all fine. Again, it's not like they take everything from Mario Kart Tour. I believe they do. Oh, so you can jump on there. I, I was wondering what angle I needed to get to jump on. But, you know... They did a decent effort translating each of them from Mario Kart Tour to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. They must have known way back when that they were going to do this DLC. So they made everything this high quality and then made it a little bit less so for Mario Kart Tour. At least that's what I think. I just couldn't get into it, man. Any, I'm not really a mobile game guy at all. So Mario Kart Tour, I think I played a little bit of. I did a couple videos on. But that's one of those games you got to play like constantly, you know? There's always new updates and new characters and tracks, and I prefer the full console experience here. But apparently, a lot of other creators that do family-friendly content love doing mobile games and stuff. There's a lot of mobile games that people play that I've just had no experience or interest in at all. Which is a story of a girl and great. Oh, wow, that would have been helpful 15 seconds ago. Thanks. Thanks, y'all. Cool. But yeah, I really had nothing else going on tonight. I wasn't really paying attention to any of the other... Um, not a lot of like game announcements and stuff happening. Obviously, the Super Mario Brothers Wonder, which... Wait, I don't think I've even talked about that in a video, so maybe this would be the perfect time to do it as I very easily glide into first place here for this entire thing. Because, I mean, why wouldn't I? Look at this commanding lead I got in the right-hand corner here. If I mess this up now, that's... It's just not going to happen. You got to manifest that to not happen for yourself. But I haven't talked about Super Mario Wonder. And a lot of people have been asking me. Actually, I might have talked about this in a video now that I'm speaking this way about it. If I'm going to play the new Spider-Man game or if I'm going to play Super Mario Wonder. Now, I love the original Spider-Man. And I played Spider-Man Miles Morales when it came out. and It was a lot of fun. But if it's a choice between... Ooh, that worked out nicely. If it's a choice between Super Mario Wonder and Spider-Man 2 on the PlayStation 5, I think the vast majority of you would know, without a shadow of a doubt, exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to 100% completely ignore Spider-Man 2 and go play Super Mario Wonder. That's what I'm about to do. Vancouver Velocity. This is a cool one because of the ice skating rink a little bit of the bit of the eh? Bit of the kind of the eh? That's what that is. I haven't been to Vancouver. Only Toronto. Still haven't been anywhere else in Canada. Definitely want to change that one of these days, but don't really have many reasons to go to Canada. First time traveling uh, technically internationally. So, ooh, did I get that shy guy? Literally? Wow. It was lined up perfectly, too. Look how cozy this looks. You know, this is the sort of place you go with your significant other on like a nice romantic vacation, right? You don't you don't go here as a as a single 27-year-old man, right? Cuz that's just kind of sad. You look at it, all the couples that are going on the the wondrous bridge, slipping on banana peels. It just feels very like at home, you know? Like uh, look, you imagine having dinner on that top deck over there on the right-hand side. Come on now. What a what an awesome, awesome vibe that would be. But yeah, no. At some point, at some point, I'll go. Whether it's by myself or otherwise. Who am I going to get? Nobody. Awesome. Oh, I got somebody. Okay, cool. I don't know what those giant sticks are in the sky. Maybe somebody can let me know by any means of the internet. I don't know what the, what the sticks are, what the point of them is. 
Not really seeing any shortcuts around here either. Nice. There we go. Gotta have that. Gotta zoom right back into first place. Thanks. Love that Wiggler has the um, irritation thing here, right? Goes from like being beat red all the way back to normal. The only thing that's a little weird is that it, it transfers, it translates. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. It goes back instantaneously. Like I feel like there should be a small transition between the normal Wiggler and then the very unhappy Wiggler. Like it kind of just flicks over, but whatever. So back to Mario Wonder though, I will be playing Mario Wonder, Super Mario Brothers Wonder. The, the, the moment it comes out from October to November, I am busy between Super Mario RPG, which they're not even calling a remaster, they just call that what it is. And then Mario Wonder, it's gonna be a very busy fall. I'm very much so looking forward to it. I have really, uh, really wanted to figure out how long Super Mario RPG is, how much time am I gonna dedicate to Mario Wonder? I mean, obviously I'm gonna beat each of the games. I'm gonna not probably not do 100%, definitely not a Mario RPG. But Mario RPG, I've been told, is one of the best Mario games of all time. One of the best Mario spin-offs of all time. So I'm very much so looking forward to diving in for the first time. I'm not going to bother with the Super Nintendo version. It, you know, the game comes out in a couple months here. So by the time I finish the, the 2D version, I'll get the 3D and the, the, you know, the whatever. But look forward to that. And then Pikmin's coming out. Anyways, cherries, I clearly got the three stars here. Will that luck continue into 200 CC? I certainly hope so. Los Angeles laps with Kamek, because why not? This is how LA drivers normally are. This speed here, I'm just diving immediately into it. But I've liked playing as Kamek. I did that during the, the tournament I held recently. I'm hitting right for that. Oh, wow. So if you can slide between the surfboard and that uh, lifeguard stand, you're doing all right. But yeah, that's going to be fairly impossible. Please guide me. Ooh, that's bad. Ooh, that's bad. Ooh, that's bad. <laughs> yeah, baby, that's bad. Yeah, baby. Look at that. That's real bad. Really, really, really bad. Okay, well, hey, I'm right back in it. That's great. I don't know how many... Where did that green shell come from? It was ahead of us, and it flung backward. That's kind of bizarre. I don't know how many times you can fall off. I mean, I know, because I've fallen off plenty of times in my career. But, you know, Mario's... Dude, real quick, let's talk about Mario... By let's, I mean me. I'm talking to nobody right now in my office at 10, 24 at night on July 14th. I want a new Mario Sluggers game. If there's any time they should have released it, it should have been this summer with all the Mario movie hype. Actually, they probably would do it next year. That seems about right. If the Nintendo Switch... Oh, dang it. If the Nintendo Switch is in their uh, sunset years, meaning the last couple uh, games before a new thing comes out, oh, that was slick, then I think a Mario baseball game to cap things off would be really cool. And that would probably release next year because there's, al there's always rumors of the next thing and the next thing, right? But the Nintendo Switch is going to be, what, seven years old? That's kind of a long time, man. It's kind of a long time for something like, uh, like a video game console, so... I'd be under every impression that they're working on a Nintendo Switch 2, Switch Pro, Switch Plus, Switch Pro Plus, Propane Plus, whatever. That's definitely in development because it's way too successful to not have that, that system of like having a tablet and then the other controllers. It just makes way too much sense. So I think they're absolutely going to do a similar console to the Nintendo Switch for their next thing whatever that thing might be. This one is slick. Slick. Let's slick. There we go. Look at that. Good. Ooh, how did you slide? Oh, man. How did you slide in front of me? That's a billion-dollar question there. Tapping the brake is a key aspect here. Stealthily avoided that red shell. Thank you. Can I snag that for first? Yes, I can, because you use that when you absolutely should not have... That was not necessary. Not a chance, okay. What can I use this on stealthily here? Right here? Yes, there we go. That worked out beautifully. For now, ooh, that is slick. The road is slick. I'm feeling slick and slippery on this. This is, you can't really tell 
I'm kind of in autopilot right now, but like, man, this is kind of difficult, but fun. Difficult, but fun. this is, re it's really, it's really fast. Hold on. Hold on. Give me, let me just focus for a split second here. What was I talking about? Mario RPG. Oh, Switch Pro Plus. Switch Pro Pain Plus. Yes. Yeah, it'll happen. Yeah, it'll definitely happen. Because this sold, this console sold too well that they can't get away with making two separate consoles anymore, right? So they're gonna make a, they're gonna make a follow up to this. It'll be really good. Very much so. Looking forward to it. Whatever it decides to come out, I'm ready for it. You know, whether it be uh, 2025. If I had to take a guess, well, they're not gonna do. You know why I want the new console to come out? They never release besides Mario Galaxy One and Two, which is kind of one big game when you think about it. They never released two 3D Marios on one console, and that's a shame. It's a shame, man. Give me Mario Odyssey. Not even Mario Odyssey. I don't care what you give me. Just give it to me. I know Mario Odyssey is a couple years old by now. I'm fully aware. But they could absolutely do a Mario Odyssey 2. Never played on this course this fast. Wowie zowie. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. There it is. Tap, tap, tap the brake. Tap. That's not tapping the brake. No one got ahead of me? Whoa. That is super surprising. Okay. Ooh, you know what I should do? I should do a 200cc tournament for the five-year anniversary. That's what I should do. Ooh, if you're watching this row. Oh, yeah. If you're watching this right now, you know full well. You know full well. That is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a 200cc Mario Kart tournament for my five-year anniversary event. That's gonna be chaos, because everybody can do 150 CC, right? Everybody can do that, but no, no guardrails, no nothing. 200 CC, that'd be absolute chaos, and I'd be down for every second of it, you know? Totally good with that. But yeah, they will, they'll absolutely do uh, a Nintendo Switch 2 that is really fast. A Nintendo Switch 2 that has all the same functionality. Hopefully, it, it has to have 4K. There's no way they can't have a 4K console anymore. You know, like all these TVs are out here 4K. That's like pretty standard by and large. Uh, maybe not the display on the handheld version, but I don't really play. Go! Thank you. <laughs> I don't really play handheld. I love that I came to a dead stop right there. That's awesome. Go! Go! Forget about lack of two. Just go. Yes. Did I get him? Yes, I did. That worked out splendidly. Oh, yeah. That whole ending sequence right there. Like, as soon as you dive off of the, the waterfall, you go all the way through. Yeah, no way. Uh-uh. That's bad. That's real bad. So Nintendo Switch 2 will definitely happen. I'm thinking... Hmm. Uh, well, they want to get one more holiday season out of it, right? I think I'm Mario Wonder, Mario RPG. Tears of the Kingdom was probably the last heavy hitter of the generation, I would assume, right? So then probably March or April? If they want to get a game out in time for the holiday season 2024, you know? Or they could release the console during the holidays itself and have like a... Metroid Prime 4. I know people are very much so looking forward to it still. So, you know, people are sensitive about it. They're like, don't mention Prime 4. It'll never come out. I'm sorry. Um, maybe that'd be the case to be a launch game for that. But also, that's not a strong enough. This is crazy. Launch game for that console. Maybe it might be. I don't know. We'll see. Do my lights turn off? The software that I'm using for these lights, I have no idea how to work it. I got it. I got it all. I got the lights set up, but I don't know how everything controls itself. So I'll just like be randomly doing something. Lights will magically turn on. They'll turn off and go into idle mode and whatever, you know? Those are all that. Those are the things that I always concern myself with all the time. You know, when I talk about like, oh, what logistical things is Brian working on? I'm working on how to fix my lights to make sure they don't automatically turn off, you know? I don't, I don't know what, the, what I'm doing. You think anybody has any idea what they're doing? Nah. Everybody's just figuring it out as they go on, you know? That's all I can do. That's what I, in fact, do. So that's been a lot of what I've been figuring out, along with life and stuff, as of uh, very recently, you know? 
So apologies for the lack of carding, like I said before. But it's not like I don't... Wow, okay. It's not like I don't want to, you know? It's just a matter of getting it all done here, like I am on the Vancouver... Now, Vancouver Heist? What's this called? Not Vancouver Valley. Something. I don't know. Hey, I got, all, I got all the things. I did the things. I got three stars. So the only one I have to replay is the Boomerang. I think that's what it's called. Not that this is jogging my memory at all by doing this, but I feel like it might summon something here. Boomerang Cup. Just give me the three stars, will ya? I have a, I have a baby shower to go to and eat half-baked food, half-baked burgers at. That's what I'm gonna do. Three stars, 60, Cherry Cup. See you next time for more Mario Kart DLC or something else in the near future, all right? Bye.